Hi, thanks for joining me for this Padres post-game recap for May 2nd, where the Padres take the final game of this four-game set against the Cubs by a score of 4-2. Four, four runs, seven hits, no errors for the Padres. Two runs, nine hits, no errors for the Cubs. By taking this last game, the Padres salvaged the split with the Cubs. It was a, a tough-fought ball game. In fact, it was a pitcher's duel for the first seven innings. Travis Wood going for the Cubs, Eric Stoltz for the Padres. Both pitchers did a fantastic job on a very cold day where the wind was blowing straight in. Very tough conditions for everybody. Nice day to pitch in because he could throw a lot of strikes, just put the ball in the air, and the ball wasn't really going to go anywhere. That's how it was. In fact, Travis Wood had a no-hitter going into the fifth inning, using his cutter, using his two-seamer, using his changeup and slider very effectively, as was Eric Stoltz using his entire toolbox also. Fastball, curveball, slider, change, and both pitchers kept each other in check all the way until the seventh inning. In fact, it was in the uh, bottom of the seventh inning where the Cubs were finally able to break the 0-0 tie a slider on the outside part of the plate to Scott Hairston. He was able to put it into the left field bleach, bleachers, hitting it just low enough to fight through that wind, and the Cubs had a 2-0 lead. And, of course, with the wind blowing in, cold day, you thought that might be enough, but it wasn't. This Padre ball club that never quits, they came back. at two runners on against Wood in the top of the eighth inning. Dale Swim allowed Wood to stay in the ball game at this point. He retired the next two batters. Then, but he had to go to his bench with the pitcher spot up. He goes to Yonder Alonso. He had all left-handers on his bench. The lefty-lefty matchup ultimately paid off. Yonder hit a high fly ball to right field, and the wind got a hold of it. Took it out of the reach of the second baseman. Took it out of the reach of the right fielder. Landed perfectly in shallow right field. One run scored. Finally, Swam goes to the bullpen. He brings in Sean Camp. The first pitch that Camp throws is a pass ball off the glove of Castillo, the catcher. Run scores. Tie ball game. Then they bring in James Russell to face Everett Cabrera to switch him around to batting right hand. Cabby gets a slider on the outside part of the plate, is able to hit it right back up the middle for a base hit. That drove in the go-ahead run. Padres ended up scoring four runs in the eighth inning, and they stick the loss on Travis Wood, who pitched such a great ball game. Stoltz did not get the win. It was Joe Thatcher who did a nice job. It was Brock Thatcher, Gregerson, and Street who had ended up closing out the ball game with Joe Thatcher getting the win, Houston Street getting his sixth save of the season. And a uh, great uh, come-from-behind Padre victory uh, in this final game. Happy flight for the boys going home. Hey, it's getting cold out here. I'm going to shut this down. Tomorrow, Jason Marquis is going to be going up against Wade Miley. Miley, the pitcher for the Diamondbacks, has been tough. In fact, he was a Rookie of the Year candidate last year had Bryce Hopper, Harper not gotten hot, hot at the end to take that Rookie of the Year award. So it's going to be a tough matchup for the boys tomorrow. But they'll be back home. They'll be in some warmer weather. And I'm going to go get in, the, uh, get in the bus right now and head over to the airport and try to warm up myself. I'm Bob Scanlon. Hope you join us tomorrow at 710. It'll be Ted Leiter and myself. Appreciate you joining me today. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.